absolutely. It's very unusual. But for us, what we're trying to do is look at where that negativity is priced the most so that you can see outsized moves in the other way. So trying to be contrarian, small caps had a very rough ride um, over the last six months. If you look at that universe in the US, a recession review is already priced in our opinion. And therefore, if things are not as difficult if we see a soft landing, which the Fed is desperately trying to engineer, then in our view, small caps will have an outsized outperformance. At the moment, we're looking at those areas that are not pricing that pessimism, that require a reality check. And at the moment, small caps have that reality price. Large caps need a reality check. I agree with so much of what you've just said, and I think it makes so much sense. But but one thing I never get, and look, I know this is a tough one to say, but why would you go underweight, given how sceptical you are about the market? Why wouldn't you just say, Do you know, I know that you have to get investors in, and I know that it's not a good look, but why don't you just say sell rather than underweight? It always seems to me, and I know it's not your fault, it's just <laughs> this term, it's a bit mealy-mouthed. If you don't like it, you don't want to own bonds, you don't think equities are the right place to be, why don't you just sell the market rather than underweight it? Oh, no, that is such a fair statement. It is just an asset management term. Underweight means that we are selling. The reason why we tend to use that term is that some of our clients have a starting point um, that we have to maintain and we can't deviate from it too much. So, for, for example, there are some um, clients that require us to have a minimum exposure, a neutral and a maximum within equities. So within that creative constraint, um, we will move to below average. So I would say in the business today, at least 50% of our client base still have those benchmarks. So what we can do is express positions relative to those benchmarks. But for the other clients that are very total return orientated, we are just selling as opposed to being underweight. Remy, I do. And I understand it was an awkward position to put you in because they, you know, you've, got, you've got to sell product and people want to be long it. OK, so what about the old long short trick for those ones who still want to be in? Are you offsetting those long positions with a heavy exposure in the futures market, i.e. shorting the underlying index options or some form of single stock option or something along that ilk? I think that is such, you know, we are moving into an environment where these are really interesting strategies. You know, to mention to you, a couple of years ago, that would have been quite challenging because the market was just moving in one direction. So long short, it was really difficult to generate returns from it. But I completely agree with you. This is the time. I mean, to give you an example, the types of volatility that we have experienced this year alone is unbelievable. Therefore, it is a fertile hunting ground for long short strategies. Our view on small caps is a primary example of that. Um, we like to be long the small cap universe. We don't want to own the large cap. So it, it is a long short um, strategy. And you mentioned options. Um, at the moment, options are a little bit expensive because implied volatility is high. We feel that this relief rally is going to lead to a decline in implied volatility, therefore another opportunity to use options in the portfolio. So it's going to be a bumpy ride this year. You have to be very tactical when you have the position, the opportunity to shape, to reshape your portfolio, you must use it. So this is not an environment to buy and hold and do nothing. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.